Hello, and today we'll be taking a look at how we can make a graph like this in a browser with just JavaScript. So we're going to do this with the help of a library called chart.js. And this library, just a quick note here, we can actually use this library in React with React-chart.js-2. So this is something that you can use if you're using React.js to build your web application. And first of all, let's take a look at our original chart here that we're going to convert. And you can see Bill 5, Jeff 2, and Michael 12, Tim 19, Zuck 3. So this is what we're going to be making. Now let's take a look at the boilerplate that I have here. So this is my current directory. I have an HTML file with just a simple HTML boilerplate. In my styles.css, I have just some simple styles to align the title and to make uh, to give margins to the body and to make development easier i've installed a vs code extension called live server if you want to do that you can do that as well so just go to your extension page and search for live server so this allows like quick reload of your server so you can just preview changes without reloading every time and you can control the live server in vs code by going down to the bottom right corner of your screen you can see i have port 5500 there that means that my live server is running already and if it isn't running already for you you'd be seeing go live. So just click on go live and your live server will be up and running. So let's take a look at what, what this code looks like right now. I'm going to go here and refresh this and we can just see that we have who deserves a cookie. That's um, the h1 tag here and I have the style to make it center. The next thing that you're going to notice is that I've included some script links here. So first of all, I'm going to install chart.js with the CDN by adding the script tags here. And then I'm also referencing scripts.js which I'm going to create right now scripts.js so this is where we'll put all of our JavaScript so as you can see right now we have an empty blank HTML page and to make it not blank what we're going to do is add in a canvas element here and this is going to be where the JavaScript chart resides so we're going to have to give this canvas an ID so we can reference this later on I'm going to call this cookie chart and then uh, I'm just going to give it a width of 250 and a height of let's say 200. I'm going to save this and when I reload this, there's still nothing here. So let's go to our scripts.js here and actually add in our JavaScript chart. So first, we're going to have to get the element from HTML. So var canvas element equals the document dot get element by ID. And then this is where you're going to put your, the ID of the canvas that you have set earlier on. So this is what I've set cookie chart. So I'm going to put that here and a semicolon. So I'm using var here. If you're using ES6 syntax, you can use const or let, it doesn't matter. And then the next thing I'm going to do is create a config object here. And then I'm just going to leave that blank for now. We can populate that later. So var cookie chart equals a new chart so we are creating a new chart instance here and the place that this is coming from is from the CDN so if I look at my HTML here you can see that we have the script tags that's gonna be running the CDN scripts so that's where this chart object is coming from so the first parameter that we're gonna be passing in here is canvas element and the second one is gonna be config so right now the config object is just a blank object so when I go and reload this we're not gonna be able to see anything at all so we're gonna actually have to configure this chart before we're gonna be able to use it so let's go to config and then let's give it the type of bar so this is gonna tell chart.js that the chart we're gonna to want to create is a bar chart and then data data is going to take in another object inside of it and this object will contain two props so labels and data sets so um, labels and data sets will both be arrays so label is going to be an array and data sets is going to be an array too and this it actually has to be labels and data sets not label so let's tackle the labels first I'm going to look at our target graph here and you can see that we have Bill, Jeff, Michael, Tim and Zach so these are going to be the labels so let me do that Bill and then Jeff and then Tim uh, actually it's Michael, Tim, Zach so Michael and then Tim and then Zach there we go so that's going to be our labels I'm going to just put this data set on the next line by the way, I have Prettier installed. So Prettier is a VS Code extension that will help me format every time I save so it's going to look prettier. And for datasets though, it's going to be a list of objects and each object being individual datasets. So if I look at our example here, we only have one dataset and that being the cookies dataset. Now, if you were to have multiple datasets like number of cookies and number of cakes and number of chocolates, then maybe you'll need 
multiple data sets. We're just going to be making one right now and even though it's just one, we still have to put a list with an object inside of it. So in this object, I'm going to have label. So the label of this data set is going to be number of cookies. Then we're going to actually have um, the data itself. So this is going to be a list of numbers and I'm going to put in the numbers here. So let's look at our example here. The first number is going to be 5 because Bill is 5. So 5 is there. And the next number for Jeff, that's 2. And then the third number is, I think that's 12. Uh, fourth is going to be 19. And then the last is going to be 3. So 5, 2, 12, 19, and 3. This is an ordered list of numbers based on the sequence of this in your example. So that's our data. And I'm going to go back and let's reload this. And there we go, we actually have our actual chart right now. But if you remember the initial version that I showed you in the beginning of this video, you'll remember that we actually have nice colors in these bars. So let me show you how you can add nice colors there. So the way we can add in custom colors to our graph is by um, going and adding the attributes of background color and the border color. So let me first uh, put this on separate lines so we can see this better. I'm going to put label on its own line, data on its own line, and let's add in background color. And background color is going to be a list. And this is actually a mistake here because we have to put background color inside of the data set object. So background color, we can also do border color like this. And let's give in some background colors. So I'm going to take and paste some colors in here. And these are CSS colors. So I have orange, red, blue, green, and purple. And one thing to take note here is that this is an ordered list. So it will be based on the sequence of your data. And then that's going to be our background color. Now that we have done that, we can reload this and you can see indeed we have our background colors here. Now you can see that it's starting to look a lot nicer, but it's still really transparent. So I'm going to add in some borders here by giving it some border colors. I'm going to do the same thing and I'm going to copy and paste that in. So like that. And it's actually just the same CSS colors, it's just that it has different intensities. So I'm going to save that and I'm going to reload this here. And you can see that nothing happens, we don't see our borders. And that's because the border right now it has a width of 0 pixels. And so we're going to have to come here and give a border width of 1 pixel and maybe now we'll see our border. So that looks a lot nicer. And that's just a really simple and basic demonstration on what you can do with chart.js. After you're done with this, I would encourage you to go to chartjs.org and here you can see the full documentation of what you can do with chart.js. And of course, don't forget that you have the React version that you can use for React. And then here we can look at all of the ch different ch chart types that uh, I've shown you. So we have line charts, we have bar charts, which is, which is what I just showed you. We have radar charts, we have donut charts and pie charts, and we have polar charts, we have all sorts of charts. So if you happen to stumble upon any of these charts that you don't really understand and you want me to make a video on that, you can leave that in the comments and I'll do my best to help you solve your problems. So that's it for this video. Hope you enjoy.